Myasthenia gravis is a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disease that causes weakness in muscles required for breathing, swallowing, and other voluntary movements that often worsens with activity and improves with rest. Onset of signs and symptoms can be rapid and include ptosis, diplopia, facial muscle weakness, dysphagia, difficulty speaking, and generalized weakness. The pathophysiology of myasthenia gravis involves an autoimmune response that targets the neuromuscular junction. Normally, acetylcholine is released into the neuromuscular junction and binds to receptor sites on muscle cells triggering muscle contraction. In myasthenia gravis, antibodies block or destroy these ACH receptors, impairing muscle contraction. Risk factors include abnormalities in the thymus gland, with about 65% of people with myasthenia gravis having thymic hyperplasia or thymomas. Diagnostic tests for myasthenia gravis include the Tensilon test, which involves the administration of edrophonium chloride, a cholinesterase inhibitor. A positive test, indicated by a rapid improvement in muscle strength, supports a diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. Other tests include electromyography, commonly called EMG, which measures the electrical activity of muscles. Imaging studies like CT or MRI may be performed to check for thymus abnormalities. Blood tests can also detect antibodies against ACH receptors. Common medications prescribed for myasthenia gravis include anticholinesterase drugs like pyridostigmine and neostigmine, which improve neuromuscular transmission by preventing the breakdown of ACH. Immunosuppressants, such as corticosteroids and non-steroidal immunosuppressants like azathioprine and cyclophosphamide, are used to reduce the autoimmune response. Plasmapheresis may be used to remove antibodies from the blood. Thymectomy, the surgical removal of the thymus gland, may be performed to decrease the autoimmune response. Priority nursing interventions for myasthenia gravis include monitoring respiratory function, balancing rest and activity and conserving strength, and preventing complications. Nurses encourage clients to eat small, frequent meals while maintaining their head in a chin-down position to prevent aspiration. They teach clients how to avoid fatigue that can cause exacerbations by planning activities during times of maximal strength. They also teach clients to recognize signs of myasthenic and cholinergic crises, such as increasing weakness and changes in heart rate and skin color. Patient education focuses on the importance of medication adherence and avoiding triggers such as infections, stress, and extreme temperatures. Clients are encouraged to wear medical identification in case of emergency situations and family members are encouraged to attend training on emergency procedures such as CPR and the Heimlich maneuver. The overall goals of nursing interventions are to maintain optimal muscle function, prevent complications and promote patient safety and independence. Regular evaluation of these outcomes through reassessment and adjustment of care plans is essential.